We begin this half hour with a couple of armed carjackings just blocks apart. Now people living in South Philadelphia are on edge as the criminals remain on the run. Yeah, police want to track them down before they strike again. So let's get right to Action News. This is Walter Perez live in South Philadelphia with what we know about these cases this afternoon. Walter. That's right, Brian and Sarah. At this point, investigators don't know much, and as far as they know, there's no surveillance video of the crimes that occurred this morning. What they do know is that the people involved are to be considered armed and dangerous. Investigators say it at least appears that a group of carjackers targeted two different victims along the same stretch of road in South Philadelphia this morning. The first victim, a 28-year-old woman, was forced out of her car at gunpoint at about 1.30 a.m. on the 300 block of Reed Street. That victim told police her attackers then pushed her to the ground before driving away in her 2019 Nissan Sentra. The victim suffered minor injuries. Then about 10 minutes later, just a few blocks away on Reed Street, a 47-year-old man was carjacked while getting out of his 2008 Lincoln Navigator. Just like the first victim, the second victim describes the people responsible as three masked men with guns. People who live along this stretch of South Philadelphia say it's simply a shame you can no longer feel safe anywhere in the city. Especially down the block, it's very concerning. You know, we hear things happening on 4th Street, but here on William Mincing is usually pretty safe. Part of the thing that's so good, good about living in the city is that you feel comfortable walking around and, you know, enjoying the sights and the sounds and getting together with people. And it's sad when you hear stuff like this happening. Now, there have been dozens of carjackings in the city this year near the Delaware River involving people stealing cars here and driving them over into Canada. At this point, it's unclear if these cases fall into that category. Meanwhile, anyone with further information is asked to contact police. Reporting live from South Philadelphia, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Brian and Sarah.